right, hello everybody, and uh, thanks again for tuning in to Spartan Outdoors TV. Uh, today I'm bringing you guys a crossbow hunt out of Ocean City, Maryland. Uh, as you can see, you know, the city's right behind me. Uh, the property I'm hunting today is about 10 minutes away uh, from downtown, you know, not too far at all. It's a small tract of land, only about 17 acres, but uh, there's a lot of good deer sign. Um, it's a really hot bedding area and a really hot crossing spot for, uh, for, for a lot of bucks. There's scrapes everywhere, rubs. Uh, it's November 25th, but there's still some rut activity going on. And uh, yeah, we're going to see if we can make it happen today. Um, using my uh, crossbow, as I said, this is a Centerpoint 370 Sniper. Um, bought it as like a bundle, you know, came ready to shoot with uh, crossbow bolts, comes with a four power scope. And uh, yeah, I've been really pleased with it so far. Uh, I've used it for two seasons now, uh, taken four deer with it, and it's never let me down. Super accurate, out to 40 yards or so which is about as far as I'm comfortable uh, taking. So uh, yeah, let's get after it. See you guys in the woods. Hey guys, uh, so most of my deer hunting is done strictly out of deer stands or uh, box blinds and uh, this year I got permission to hunt a small tract of land. Um, I'm here now, it's, it's only 19 acres and I uh, haven't had time to hang any stands and I'm not really interested in it anyway. I want to, uh, I want to get back to my roots a little bit and uh, start hunting on the ground again. So uh, let, let me just show you my uh, setup here. Uh, yeah, this is just a homemade uh, ground blind. Uh, I've killed three deer out of it so far uh, since November 1st. Um, yeah, and it's really simple, you know. You don't need to spend a lot of money or anything. Uh, everything you need is right here in the woods. Uh, typically what I like to do is find uh, a triangle of trees. Here, we, here you see we have this triangle. Um, and then you just want to stack these logs, you know, crisscross against each other. Um, using two of the trees as supports and uh, that'll create create a really nice wall to protect you uh, it, it's you know it's roomy there's there's plenty of space here for me to look 360 degrees uh, I got my shooting lanes out front my shooting lanes to the left and uh, yeah it's, it's just a really effective easy setup uh, just literally have an office chair here that I've kind of dug into the ground a little bit so my head's not popping up over the blind um, you know, when you're hunting on the ground, it can be tough, so the only thing I would say is to make sure uh, that your front rest is high enough here to uh, cover your face, um, but also low enough that you can get your bow or your gun up over it uh, when the time comes to make that shot. Um, and yeah, it's just, you know, 
hunting on the ground teaches discipline. I think it's really good for like a youth hunter to start learning from the ground. Uh, you got to be really still. You got to be really quiet. You're gonna, you know, you're at eye level with the deer. So uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun hunting out of this blind, and uh, hopefully we have some future success here.